Hello everybody, so we're back with another yoga session, yoga flow, and we're going to start off with breathing. As we breathe in and we breathe out and leave all the negativity behind. And we're closing our eyes, as you guys know, I'm outside in the park, so I have to look at my surroundings so you can close your eyes and just breathe in and breathe out. Now we're going to put our arms over our head and bring it to heart center. Again, raise our arms up, heart center. And we're going to do some simple stretches that I've done in the previous video. As you guys will see, you can do these types of um, stretches sitting on a chair while you're at work. This is great for those that work in the office. And we just rolling our head around and getting the tension out of our neck and our shoulders and we're basically doing some light stretches just to warm up the body before we get into the other poses remember this is just a yoga flow whatever type of pose that you cannot do or your body says no please take heed to that and get into the child's pose when you can i will show you child's pose in a minute but please do not force yourself into any of these positions because you will get there as soon as you can but if it's not at this moment don't force yourself because you can hurt yourself in yoga and i don't want anybody going to the hospital so please listen to your body and breathe and do what you can these yoga videos that i'll be putting out will be yoga flows depending upon my practice and what i want to put out i will throw in some basic yoga poses but most of them or some of them will be according to the level that i'm in so if you're in a beginner level please stay at the beginner level or intermediate or advance whichever level you are please take heed to that and we're loosening up our body here to really get into the yoga movements and again remember to breathe I know it sounds silly to say that but believe it or not sometimes you can get stuck on your breathing because you're trying to concentrate on the pose please do not do that and also throughout the yoga practice i try to hold my stomach in because you know i'm trying to get the ab workout you know get the core you know strength in and also a lot of instructions y'all but you know so we're going to stretch everything out as you guys could see then we're going to take our leg and we're going to keep the foot flexed and we're going to move it in a circular motion and whatever you do on one side you must do on the other side and i know i say this but you know you have to do that so you won't be unbalanced there's one pose that i did in this video that i didn't do the other side i believe i did it off camera i'm not sure but yeah because it was a hard pose <laughs> so we're getting this nice stretch but just always do whatever you do on one side please do on the other side And make sure that you keep the foot nice and flexed. And we're going to get that nice twist for the back. Once again, if you cannot do this, please go on the child's pose into your safe pose or just lay on your back. Now we're going to lift our legs up and you can leave it like this or you can leave it like that or like that. It's really up to you. 
I'm going according to my practice because I really need this. This is great for circulation. And just remember to breathe and tighten the core a little bit as you're in this position. Again, I know it's a lot of instructions, but just try to do what you can and do what your body tells you to do. If your body says, put your legs down, put your legs down. <laughs> right now I'm gonna curl up into a ball and I'm gonna massage the back a little bit by going back and forth. And then we're gonna stretch out. Now we're gonna rock back and forth to get to a seated position. And now we're at a seated position and we're going to raise our arms over our head, hands at heart center, do it again. This is where you're catching all your breathing. And now we're going to prepare for the boat pose. Please make sure you are tightening your core and you can lift your legs up or you could put them on the ground. It's really up to you. But this is what I felt today in this practice, and I wanted to do this. This is great for strengthening your core, and this will also help for future headstands if you want to attempt that, you know, whenever you get a chance. Um, it's very good for that. And then you take a little break because the boat pose can be a little extraneous, so just take a moment. And I was also taking a moment looking at my surroundings because it'd be some you know people out there all right so we are back at the boat pose as we're keeping the feet flexed as well I forgot to say that and I'm listening to some music so I'm singing the song <laughs> all right so now we are done now I'm gonna do some stretching here this is just to open up the hip flexors a little bit and um yes because y'all i want to get back in the splitting and i'm still working on my middle split because i i haven't been you know i've been slacking so now i'm trying to do some things to get to that point so again this is a yoga flow this is a part of you know the level that i'm on um once again if you cannot do this please do not try please go into a child's pose if you may and this is a nice stretch for me. All right, now we're going to lie on our backs and we're going to just open up the hip flexors even more again. As we're continuing to breathe. And we're gonna rock back and forth. All right, so now we're going to, I believe, get into tabletop position, yes and we're gonna do cat and cow this is where you could catch your breath massage the back and get everything in now we are going to lay on our stomachs lie on our stomachs i'm sorry and we're going to do a little bit of a cobra pose there and bring it back down another cobra pose and bring it back down now we're going to prepare ourselves for the forearm plank 
I forgot how many of these that we did. So just be prepared for that. Make sure that your stomach is tightening in the core. And this is where this will also help you with your arm strengthening as well. And also this will help you for any future hand or headstands. And any forearm stands like when you do your pincher your forearm pincher i do not have that yet i almost did but i will get that soon where you could do um you can go on your forearms and put your legs up i have not successfully done that yet but i will soon remember to breathe and do what you can if you can only do one forearm plank then just do one if you can't do none then go into your child's pose so do whatever your body is able to do put your hands at your sides and you're gonna sway back and forth now we're gonna do cat and cow now we're gonna do opposite arm opposite leg bring it in bring it back out Bring it in, bring it back out. This is also good for the core. Make sure you are tightening in those abs at the same time. And this is also great for balance and arm strength as well. I know it can be a little bit difficult, but just try. And when you're doing this, just try to focus on something specific so you can have a good um, focal point. And that's basically about that. All right, so now we're gonna get into child's pose. And this is where you go into a pose when, this pose when you cannot do a pose or if you need to catch your breath or whatever the case is, you can um, twist your wrists, you know, cause we bend on our wrist and stuff like that. So it's really up to you. So this is just where you take that nice breather break. Now we're gonna get up and we're gonna just do some nice stretches that will help the back a little bit just some nice stretches if you cannot do this please do not attempt Yoga is supposed to be relaxing and peaceful. Please do not make this stressful. You will get there soon. If you be consistent. Now I'm trying to figure out what to do here. So we're just going to go into downward facing dog. And we're going to do some of these here. While tightening the core, then we're going to go into warrior poses. So we're going to do warrior two. We're going to do peaceful warrior or reverse warrior. Warrior one. Bring it back down. Back into downward facing dog. Do the same thing on this side as I did on the other side. Then we're going to go into the warrior poses then we're gonna do peaceful warrior reversal warrior and bring it back down to downward facing dog then we're gonna jump into a squat bring our hands at heart center and get this nice stretch this also can open up your hip flexors as well I'm just going to be in the moment right here. Then we're going to get out of the squat. And we're going to bring it back down and lie on our backs. Bring the arms up, stretch everything out. 
and I believe I'm going to do the shoulder stand you do not have to do this please do not attempt this is also great for circulation as well the shoulder stand I'm a little rusty but it's okay then we're gonna do a plow pose going to a plow pose to bring it down this is great great stretch in here then bring it back down then we're going to go into fish pose because we closed everything in so we're just going to open the heart up fish pose and bring it back down and then we're going to stretch everything out hands to the sides and then we're going to rock back and forth Oh, no, right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go to see the position. I apologize, y'all. And then we are going to hmm, do a pigeon pose. Okay, all right. There we go. Opening up the hip flexors right here. You don't have to do this. Please do not attempt. Please do not attempt. It's one of my favorite poses. I love. I love the um, pigeon pose. This is very great. One of the best poses that I was able to do when I started yoga now I'm gonna do some fun stuff here you don't have to do this again this is my flow I'm just flowing this is what I needed to this on this day I needed that on that day so this is what I'm doing so please do not attempt do what you can just lie on your back or go into child's pose if this is not in your practice back and we're going down to child's pose to catch our breaths while i try to think of what else to do <laughs> say no no i actually was trying to think of what else to do <laughs> and being aware of my surroundings okay all right so i decided to do some more stretches as you guys know um well if you don't know i'm trying to get my middle split i've been trying this for years and the reason why i have not is because i haven't been consistent so i've been slacking so now i have to kind of basically start from scratch so this is what i'm doing this is in my practice for this moment so i'm just basically trying to open up the hip flexors so to get into that middle split whenever i can so i have to get my body used to my the way my legs are opening the way they are so now as you guys can see the inner thighs is what i'm saying i'm working on that so i can get into this middle split whenever i can whenever my practice allows me to i'm not trying to pull any muscles out here okay so you just have to be very careful like i said before you can hurt yourself in yoga if you have no clue what you're doing or if you're trying to force your body into something that your body is completely saying no to okay all right so if your body is screaming pain and it's not a, a good pain then you need to stop ASAP okay I'm just trying to tell y'all the real okay <laughs> but here I am just doing some stretches and also these stretches are good especially if you are about to exercise doing stretches prior to your exercise will definitely make a big difference so please keep that in mind and also when you're about to run as well, a lot of track, a lot of track team teams, you know, do these types of stretches just to loosen up their body and make their running a little bit better or actually better, not a little bit. <laughs> so please keep that in mind. Stretching is always great. That's why you always stretch also in the morning time when you first wake up because you just to wake up your body. So those are just some key points there that I just wanted to throw out there just in case you guys didn't know. If you didn't know, now you know today. Mm -hmm. Fun fact. We learn something new every day. All right, I'm just getting these nice stretches in. Once again, please do not force your body into what I'm doing. Again, this is what I felt the need to do on this on this day okay so this is why this is called a yoga flow so do what you can do in in your practice at your pace 
and we're going to go back into child's pose to catch a breather All right, now we're going to go back into cat and cow. As we're breathing and catching up with the breaths. Now I'm trying to figure out what else to do. So I think this is where I do... A crow pose do not do this if you cannot do it I felt this in my practice okay there you go now I'm gonna do a headstand I feel like doing a headstand again today I'm trying to get back into my headstands so this is basically what I'm going to do trying to get back into my headstands to get my arm strength up. Doing a little twist in there. I'm a little rusty because I haven't done this in a minute. Well, I haven't, you know, I've done it in the last video, but I, ha I haven't been doing it in a while. So um i am a little rusty so the more i do it the more i will get back into into the groove of things all right so i'm done with that <laughs> just catching a breath here okay and doing a headstand is good for circulation as well a lot of these stretches are good for circulation but the headstands is kind of like one of the best. And I'm going to attempt. Uh, <laughs> I haven't done that in a minute. I don't know. I think I tried to do the other side, but I was like, I can't. <laughs> I'm going to show you all my mistakes. I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't doing that. <laughs> now I'm going to do a compass pose. I haven't done this in so long. So yeah. So I'm going to do it on the other side. And I should have done the other side for the other thing. But I just couldn't do it. So y'all I apologize. So I am going to be a little unbalanced. <laughs> That's okay. But just remember whatever you do on one side. Do on the other side. But those were very difficult to do. So yeah. So I haven't done this in a minute. So I'm just getting you know used to doing it and getting back i like that pose so i'm gonna I'm do this every yoga session because i need to i need to get back into this okay and i want to show you all my mistakes because i'm not i'm not perfect by any all means i mean nobody's perfect but i make mistakes as well so i just want to show you all that too so you know you know you know i'm a yoga instructor doesn't mean you know make mistakes too all right i'm gonna do a wheel it's another thing i put my leg up here but i i couldn't do it on the other side because this is so difficult to do like oh my goodness and i haven't done this in a minute oh my goodness that was so hard so the other side was not happening so yes i was unbalanced that day a little bit so i apologize about that now in the child's pose to catch a breather so yeah so when you are doing um yoga poses just make sure what you do on one side you must do another side and if it's a difficult pose just just don't do it just wait until you can fully do it so you can do both sides 
But I mean, you know, things happen. So and all and one side is always probably tighter than the other side. One side is going to be different than the other side. So um, that's just basically how it is. Like well, when I do my splits, one side is kind of more difficult and it's tighter to get into than the than the other side. So just keep that in mind when you're doing yoga. All right, so now I believe we're preparing for Savasana. So we're going to do some figure fours. And then we're going to get into Savasana. And this is where we're going to seal everything in. So right here we're doing some little things prior to Savasana just to get everything out. And if you have anything else that you want to do and you can't do the figure four, you can do something else. You know, it's really up to you. Now we're about to put our palms up and close our eyes. My eyes are probably not going to be closed because I'm trying to look at my surroundings. And we're going to breathe and have a subtle breathing. And we're going to melt into the mat or the floor, wherever you are. And we're going to seal in our practice of what we learned today or what you could have done today. So our body can remember it for the next time it's time for practice. So please seal in all the positive vibes and energy that you got from today's practice and kick all the negative energy out. And continue to so subtly breathe as you melt in the floor to Savasana. your fingers and your toes to wake up your body from savasana everybody put your hands at heart center and we're going to end the class in a sound of om we're going to breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out and on the last breathe out of the third breathe in and breathe out we're going to end the class in a sound of om breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in um, thank you for participating in today's class. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for leaving all the positive energy inside while kicking the negative energy out on its neck. Thank you and have a wonderful, blessed day. Namaste.